this video i am going to show how simple the power division theorem creates kirchmeier's hypothetical load point voltage in a transmission network through which n number of generators transferring power to the m number of loads the generator voltages and currents the load voltages and currents are shown in the diagram which is on display L. K. Kirchmeier, a pioneer in the field of electric power and control systems, he was a manager, systems planning and control section, electric utility division of General Electric Company, New York, USA, wrote a book on economic operation of power systems. The book is one of the first textbook followed in technical institutions. He has developed a formula. for transmission network class in terms of generating powers that is input of the network it involves many matrix operation to find the hypothetical load point voltage that is combining all the loads and make it available at one point linear transformations are performed on load currents to find the voltage of the hypothetical load point il is the sum of all load current IOJ as in one, which is equal to the total network current IT. Each load current IOJ is represented in terms of complex fraction LJ of the total load current IL in two. The hypothetical load point voltage EL is arrived after performing many matrix operation. The voltage EL is equal to the sum of the product of complex conjugative of the fraction LJ with the load voltage EOJ as in 3. The equation 3 can be developed within few steps by using power division theorem. As per the theorem, share of power from ith generator to jth load SIJ is equal to the product of the jth load power SOJ and the ratio of ith generator current igi to the total load current it as in 4 jth load power can be replaced in terms of jth load voltage eoj and load current ioj results equation 5 by adding the share of the ith generator to each load gives the share of ith generator to the total load sit as in equation 6 inspecting 6 defines the complex conjugative of the hypothetical load point voltage el in 7 since the complex power is expressed as e conjugate i in all the power division theorem derivation we got the complex conjugative of el in 7 whereas in the kirchmeier's work the complex power is considered as ei conjugate got the voltage as shown in the equation 3 the power division theorem is more effective in application which indicates it is a fundamental theorem must be included in the syllabus of technical institutions thank you